Hello there, I am John Grodel with more Pokemon Emerald that I had to think there for a second, yeah. And this time, or in the last part we did, we got here to Different Town, we delivered the Lord of the in the Granite Cave without using Flash. We got a couple items such as like a Pokeball, and Stardust, and um, Escape Rope, like some items I got last part basically, I'm lifting off the top of my head. And we also caught an Aeron. So now I told you guys everyone would be level 20 except for, um, of course Prime and Speedy right here. Now. Prime is so close to being level 18, that should give you a hint on what we're going to do right here in this first part of this part. First part of this part, I like that. Yeah. So, oh no, I didn't mean to hit back, I want to go to the other ones, okay. And then, Speedy is really close to level 20, 20. So yeah. And then everyone else right here is level 20, so you can, um, Blaine's level 20, Peter's level 20, Sh Shroom's is level 20, and then also Knight is level 20. Now, as for the learned moves, if they learned any while leveling up, let's see here. I think I will. I think, um, Meryl Odd kind of knew roll out by then, like, the last part or something. So, there really nothing new there. I actually made a change to my final moveset. Older Sleuth will actually be in my final moveset. Yes, I know. But, like, it's so. it's I use it in on a ghost type Pokemon. Like, for example, I use Sableye. Because Sableye is in the second part of the Granite Cave in there. Where you have to use flash because it's too dark, that part, and it makes it just the uh, it gets rid of its ghost type for the battle, at least for the battle I believe, and then it's just the dark type, so I can actually fa use like normal type moves on it, which I think is really cool. That might come in handy later on. So order sleuth, I don't remember level though. Um, Blaine's basically moveset is the same, same with um. Winkle or Peter, but if you don't know, I taught TM47, which I got from Steven when I delivered it the letter to him. I taught it stealing. And nothing new on Shrooms, I believe. And then, of course, Knight learned Metal Claw at level 13, and then went, it already knew Headbutt Tackle, and it already knew Mudslap. So there, there, we go. there we go. So enough rambling. Let's get down to business. Let's do this. Now, the only reason I'm going back to Granite Cave is because it's like the only place around this area to train. So I'm going to show actually these battles, because I'm pretty sure it'll only take one battle each for these two, my Meryl, or Prime, and uh, Speedy. The Zigzagoon to level up. Here is the level 8 Makita. So, this should be enough to for a um for a level up. So let's see. Let's just use water gun on it. Ah uh, no, it didn't uh it was, I wanted to do at least half. Oh well. I'll just use water gun again, hopefully it'll hit. Dang it, it didn't hit. Of course it didn't hit. Ah uh, I know, it's so Yeah, okay. Let's do this. One more. One more. Oh my gosh, please just hit it. I mean, I know Sand Attack is lowering your accuracy, but come on. You're almost a f you're almost an Azumarill. Your final evolution, actually. There we go. So level 18. If you didn't already guess, Meryl evolves to level 18 into Azumarill. So, watch it evolve, everyone. This is so exciting. My first Pokemon to reach its final evolution stage. I think... Yeah, exactly, I think, because cause Winkle's still Winkle and needs to be a Pelper, and then Kabuskin needs to be a Blaziken, and then Shrooms needs to be Broloom, and Zigzagoon needs to be a Linoon, which will actually come up right up next. Aaron still needs to be a Aggron. Am I missing anyone? I don't think I'm missing anyone out of that list. There we go. So now that um, Prime is not level 18, let's go up to Speedy. Yeah, everyone else still isn't in, in their final evolution yet. But Speedy will be after one battle, let's do this. Because it only needs like 54 more experience points to level up to level 20, and that's when it evolves into a line in, baby. Oh yeah. Okay, um, this Zubat will probably give me exactly 54 experience points. If not, it's probably the level 7 Zubat I'm talking about, because I did a lot of training off screen, as you, as you know. And I kind of caught on to what, how many, what Pokemon gives out how much experience, you know. 61, that's still enough. Oh no, it's not enough. Oh, 75 more experience points. I think uh, Meryl only needed 54. I got this two mixed up. So let's, so let's battle another Pokemon. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, an Abra. I don't think I'll be faster than this, but we'll try. We'll try. Let's try this. Headbutt. Yeah, I'm faster than it. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Level 20. I keep on saying nice so much. It's nice, everyone. So now Speedy is evolving. Yay, two Pokemon evolving in one part. Yeah, that's what I call progress or off-camera training. Yeah, that too. Yeah, 
There we go, we got a light noon now. Oh yeah. Second Pokemon to reach his final evolution stage. All in one video. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. There you have it. So there we go, it can exit our granite cave. And yeah. The only other thing I plan on doing in this part is taking on a gym. So let's put Peter up to the front. And then, I actually want to do it from... I want to actually arrange my Pokemon from super effective to least... Su to least not very effective, if that makes any sense. So Peter and Blaine, because they have both... Well, P Blaine has a flying type move, and Peter has a wing attack and all that. Then, oh yeah, Speedy and Shroom's have to... Because, like, Knight's four times weekends fighting, Speedy's two times weekends fighting. And then... Yeah, I think Shroom's would go before that. Because Shroom's actually has, like, Mega Drain and stuff, and Prime only has Water Gun and Rollout. Which won't be as effective on fighting types. Well, at least Rollout for that matter. So now we're going to the gym, baby. Now I don't remember. I haven't memorized this puzzle on how on how to get through it without battling any trainers. But let me try. Um, I'm scared. Okay, that's a dead end. Which way to go, everyone? I think I got this. I think I have an idea where he's at. Oh, are you kidding me? It's too dark to see, I'm sorry you guys, I can't do it in one shot. <laughs> wow. It's not like the Rush Bar City Gym. Okay, anyway, if you mean to pa if you if you mean to pass, it has to be towed through me. Oh, it's a single battle, I thought it was a double battle. Okay. So let's start. I'm gonna be battling everyone in this gym just to get the experience, you know. Cause after you beat a gym leader in this game, and I I'm pretty sure this goes for all Pokemon games, you can't rebattle the trainers. You have to battle them first, or as many as you want first, and then battle the gym leader. And then after that, you can't rebattle them, even if you didn't battle them beforehand. If you get my drift. So I'm gonna just nail it with a wing attack that Makri's level 13. Yeah. And that's all he had. God, overpowered. I don't even know. But she gave me $4.16, baby. Thanks. If every Pokedot was a penny, like I always have been doing this for this walkthrough guide. Uh, I think there's a battle up here. It's not. Hold on. There we go. Okay, if you if you don't if you go up where I was, you can actually just correct my path. And here's Brawly, but I actually ended up battling a trainer first, so I'm gonna battle this trainer right here. There's no need for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you. What do you have like a boulder or something? You're gonna crush me, man? Or you're gonna crush me like a soda can or something? That's not very nice. That actually puts me down. My gosh, these people are so mean to me. Or trainers, people, trainers. I don't know. Wing attack on this Metatite. Now, notice that this Magnetite's fighting Psychic, which is actually pretty cool, pretty cool typing, but f flying will still be super effective on it. So don't worry if you have a flying type, you're gonna be breezing through this gym then. And that wasn't even meant to be a pun, because breeze and flying, I don't know. That wasn't even meant to be a pun, whatever. So I'm gonna go over here. Again, I'm looking for all the trainers. Mighty Sweat, come on! I bet you have a Machop or something, you black belt. You black belt. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, he does have Machop. Nice. How nice. I'm gonna attack, baby. Take this, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Down to the dumps. Down to the dumps. Oh, yeah. Not enough power. You also gave me $4.16. How nice of you. Dead end right here, uh, and if I didn't already notice, I already tell you, though every time you beat a trainer, it'll get lighter in the gym. And I'll actually talk to the vice giver now. Sorry for skipping over that the first time. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bow and Grodel? Do for its gym leader, probably commands fighting type Pokemon. Going against it with normal type Pokemon is asking for trouble. Fighting Pokemon will lay a serious smackdown on normal type or normal Pokemon. So be careful. What's worse is this gym is dark as the ocean floor. Well, not now. It's been a little bit lighter. It's been a little lit up. But it always gets brighter after you be defeating the trainers anyway. That's nice. Hey, go for it. I don't even know what the last part was. They rushed through it. Uh, yeah, it's about you. Don't you dare brush me off. I, it's not my fault if you cry. What's with these and these black belts and these fighter girls and, uh, battle girls? <laughs> That's close enough. I mean, but they're bullying me, man. That's not very nice. Especially since I have almost all level 20 Pokemon. I mean, you'd, you'd think you'd have more expect, respect for just an average Joe. 
but I'm a cool trainer, man. I'm Grotol. Ha, you that detect didn't work that time, baby. Ha ha. Ah, man, there you go. There's the ghost of Meditite. Okay. This battle goes. Wow, I lost. This battle goes fast. Okay, $3.12. Nice. So, this is the dead end, so don't go this way. And then this up here is another. I think it's a double bottle up here. Yep, exactly. So, you, F you, F you. Are you st stumbling around in the dark? Well, it's actually pretty written up now. I guess you're. I guess I expect you to go battle these trainers first when it's still dark. I'll show you what my gumptation. What the gumptation of a sailor man. You're. You're just weird. You guys are all freaks. I mean, you're boys and you're freaks. Especially that battle girl. Might have tied in my chop, huh? Let's take you down. Let's take you out for ice cream, baby. What flavor do you like? I don't care. Haha. <laughs> oh, 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 you can use the detect, huh? That's not very nice. Hopefully Peck will faint this chop. Nope, almost though. So. Yeah, you better use that focus energy. Wing attack, baby. Haha. -ha. You're going downtown. And not to get ice cream, I lied about that part, so. Joke's on you. Haha, -ha, there we go. And there goes the med Machop. I almost said I meditate. <laughs> Wowzers. Level 21, Peter. Okay, mist is a terrible move. I'm not gonna teach it mist. So don't even think about thinking about me teaching Mist to my Wingle or Peter or whatever. Cause I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh you, I don't want to know you. Too bad, you know me? Shout my name from the skies. I am Grotol. How'd this happen? It's not like me to lose this way. Give me seven dollars and twenty-eight cents, thank you. Okay, did I battle everyone? Okay, I battled everyone right here. And then what about right here? I battled you. I think I battled you. I'm going. Okay, this is the. That's the dead end, okay. And then. Let's see here. I battled you. I think I battled everyone. I'll say. I'm pretty sure I battled you too. I'm, I'm pretty sure I battled everyone. So let's get down to business. Let's talk to Broly. And by the way, that's a knuckle badge right there. It's always the badge is always printed right behind the gym leader in this game, which is pretty cool. So let's talk to Broly. I'm Broly, Difference Gym Leader. I've been trained in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough in a pitch black cave. So you wanted to challenge me? Let's see what you're made of. I'm trying more. I'm trying to do a better job of doing um, character voices. And changing up my commentary because I just get the same voice for everyone basically in the past for my videos. So I'm gonna try to do that and get better at that with Pokemon Mario games and whatever. Whatever walkthrough guide or let's play I'm doing basically. I'll try better at that, I promise. So here's this Machop, it's level 16. That's gonna take a wing attack to the face and it's still gonna live. Okay. Now he's gonna use Bulk Up, which raises up its attack and defense stats. Now for all of his Pokemon, I'm pretty sure they all have no Bulk Up. I know his Makita and his Machop does. I don't know about Meditate though, but don't let them boost those up too much, cause it'll be bad news. Okay, that full restored it. Dang it! I'd rather him use his potions on the Machop and waste them now, other than on his Makita. That's gonna be coming up in a little bit. So there, there we go. Two Machops or two, two Machops, two Wing Attacks to the face, and it's down for the count. So overall, his Machop isn't that bad. I mean, and then next comes this Meditite, which is new to Pokemon Emerald, because in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, he didn't have this Meditite. He just had a Machop and a Makita. But the, all, all the names I've noticed start with M. Makita, Machop, and Meditate. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that before. Kind of, not really. So, this is just an annoyance Pokemon because it has Detect. I'm pretty sure it has Detect. But if you get a critical hit like me, then you're done. And it's down for the count. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. Makita is the big power. This thing has reversal, so that means that every the the, le, the less damage or the less HP it has on it, the more powerful a reversal will be. Now keep this in mind. I'm gonna start using I'm gonna use Supersonic on it. 
Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to waste up many football cups with this thing. So instead of using supersonic, I'm just gonna try to kill it or faint it with a wing attack. Let's see what happens. Yep, all critical hit. Nice. Okay, that was easy. Usually, probably gives me a hard time, but usually my Pokemon aren't this high level. But I like being high level, even though it's not a challenge. Then, gosh, whoa! You made a much bigger splash than I expected. You swamped me. Okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. You gave me. You gave me nineteen dollars. Ha! Oh wait, um, nineteen dollars. Yeah, I think you gave me nineteen dollars. Girl, do I see if the knuckle badge from Brawly? Yeah, but uh, the reason why I'm over level is so I can make this part shorter because I like to show battles and experience, like every battle basically in a Pokemon game. But to do that, I need to be high level so I can just knock them out really fast. Because I know some people like to skip battles a lot and they're under leveled and stuff, but they have like less number of parts on their playlists. But you know, whatever. The knuckle badge makes all your Pokemon up to level 30, even those you got in trades obey without question. And you'll be able to use the HM Flash outside of battle. If you'd like, use this text te technical machine too. TMI, which is bulk up, which I can explain it, it raises up its attack and defense stats. That TM08 contains bulk up. It's a move that raises both attack and defense stats, that's what I said, man. And then we register him in his Pokemon app. Now, when you register gym leaders back in their Pokemon apps, you can actually go back and battle them whenever they have, whenever um the trainer's eyes show, which I don't think I showed before. Um, or match call in Ruby and Sapphire trainer's eyes, but in Emerald it's match call. Like usually there's like a little square Pokeball next to the name, and then that that shows that they want to battle you again or have a rematch with you. So yeah, so let's make our way out of this gym. Oh, let's talk to the device giver. Whoa, it turned too bright in here. It's turned too bright in here. Your future is bright too. And let's talk to the Pokemon signs. Defeats Town's Pokemon Gym. Bro, I see the first trainer. Squirtle may not in there again. But I don't think it may really goes out for the badges. Like in the animation, you just wanted to do contests, which is okay. That's awesome. Every like female companion that Ash has wants to do Pokemon contests. Pretty sure. Except for an X and Y right now, the series. Like, Serena doesn't really know what she wants to do. Like, she doesn't know if she wants to battle, uh, ba take on the gyms, or if she wants to take on the Pokemon contest if they have them. I mean, like, I haven't watched much of that anime. Like, I'm really behind, actually. <laughs> so I can't say for sure. Now, where do you want to go next is Petalburg, and I'll, sh I'll give you a good reason why. And we're gonna cut back to Rushboro City, and when I say now, not that now, but yeah. When I say now, we're gonna be back in Rushboro City, so now. Okay, I'm actually in the Pokemon real quick. I'm gonna sell my Stardust that I've been carrying around for a thousand Poké Dollars, and uh, I'll sell my Everstone because I don't really ever use it, so you know, 400 Poké Dollars, yeah. Okay, and I think that's about it. So, Wazam, we're back in Rushboro City. So I wanted to show that off for a second, just so you didn't see any disappearing Pokemon items or Pokemon bag. I'm gonna actually up real quick too. Be right back. Okay, back outside the Pokemon Center. Let me go to my bed. Oh no, I don't wanna do that actually. I wanna switch up my Pokemon. So, let's see here. I wanna put, I wanna put Peter right here, and yeah, I'll put Prime right here, and there we go. Nice. Look at. So yeah, um, after you beat, oh, who is this? Roxanne, hey, go to us from North Shore City. I heard, the I, that, I heard that you moved up through the ranks of trainers in an incredible clip. At an incredible clip. Well, I'd rather not think that I can't beat you. I promise I'll shape up my gym so that you can challenge me us again. I hope you'll be looking forward to that occasion as just me. Click, click, okay, whatever. Oh yeah, and then we registered Roxanne on the Pokemon app finally, yay! So if you beep Brawly and you deliver the letter to- well basically if you just deliver the letter to Steven in Granite Cave, go back to the, uh, Devon Corporation's building again, and this is one of two other times that we'll go back for this, so one of two, as I said before, go to the third floor where the president is, and go talk to him, see what he has to say to you. He'll give you an item, basically. Mr. Stone, you delivered my letter. Thank you kindly. This is what my way of wait thanking you. I should help. It should help you as a trainer or a train. I messed that up so badly. <laughs> okay, so yeah, 
A Pokemon holding that experience share will be given some of the experience points from battle. It will get experience points even if it didn't actually battle. I would say experience share is quite useful for raising weak Pokemon. You're that you're right, sir. You are so right. What do you have to say? If you visit the shipyard in Sleepwood City, you should go to see Captain Stern. I'm still getting used to these voices. I can't like make any voice. I can't like make voices right off the top of my head, so it'll take some time. But I'm I'm working on it, you guys. Hopefully, my commentary will be a lot more. You know, ex I'll express my commentary a lot more. Um, de hard. Uh, I don't even know the right adjective. I'll express my commentary more, so it's not so boring. We just hear my voice for everything. I'm working so hard on that. So now we're gonna cut back to where we talked to Mr. Bruni and at uh, D4 Town basically. So whenever I say now, not now, I will be there now, baby. And was Sam, we're back in D4 Town. But I guess soon leave it, because right now we're leaving. Oh, for you, I'll go out to see anytime. Now, my friend, where would you be bound? Slayport, baby, we're going out next to deliver the, um, the, um, Devon Goods to Captain Stern. Oh, anchor is away, Pico. We're setting sail, my darling. So, yeah, here's about 107. We'll come back to this eventually when we actually can access this with that boat. Because now we can't battle any of the trainers now in the boat, so just let you know. In Vizan, we're on a beach. Ahoy, we've landed in Slayport. I, I suppose you're going to visit Captain Stern and deliver the Devon goods? That's a good hint on what we should do. But, we'll do that hopefully in the next part. So, this will go again. Uh, I don't know. I messed it up. So, yeah. So, this has been the end of my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough guide part. In the next part, we'll take on the beach and what lies ahead. If we get to Slayport City and do what we do what Mr. Brittany said, deliver the double goods to the Captain Stern. I don't know. So, this has been Jungle again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough guide.